So topic 1.6, we are discussing about the momentum that uh, uh, when we apply the force in the object is moving. So the product of mass and velocity is known as the momentum and we can calculate the momentum by the product of mass and velocity. For example, a moving object undergo a change in momentum. What is the unit of change in momentum? Basically, what they're saying, they're asking for change in momentum or change in momentum is also known as impulse. An impulse is having two units. One is known as kilogram meter per second and another one is Newton second. But how impulse is having two units? It's up to you any one of them you can use because there are two formulas to calculate the impulse. What are the two formulas to calculate impulse? Number one, impulse is equals to the final momentum minus initial momentum. That is one formula. And the second formula for impulse is equals to the product of force and time. So when force is multiplied by time, we can also calculate the impulse. I will give example how you will know which formula to use. So that is according to the question. Example, an object is there and the speeds of the object are given like object of mass 2 kilogram moving with 5 meter per second and changes the speed to 7 meter per second. So that is a start or initial and this one is a final. So in this case, when we know the speeds, when the speeds are given, that object having a mass of 2 kilogram moving with a speed of 10, 5. So the initial momentum will be equal to 5 multiplied by 2. That's equal to 10 kilogram meter per second. And what about the final momentum? That is 2 multiplied by 7 equals to 14 kilogram meter per second. So when the speeds are given, first we'll find the initial momentum, then we find the final momentum and to calculate the impulse, it's final minus initial. So final is 14 and initial is 10. So 14 minus 10, that's equal to 4 kilogram meter per second. But what about the second formula? So if the object is moving, the object changes the speed but they did not provide you the speed they mentioned that object changes the speed that is mentioned as a resultant force of 5 newton is applied on the object to move from position a to position b in 3 seconds and they asked what is the impulse or what is the change in momentum so the second formula of impulse when force and time are given so impulse is force multiplied by time, force is 5 and the time is 3, so 5 multiplied by 3, that's equal to 15 and the unit of force is Newton and unit of time is second, so it will be Newton second. So whenever force and time are given, you will multiply it to get impulse. If the speeds are given, you will find the initial momentum, you will find the final momentum and the difference in the momentum will provide you the impulse. Is it clear the two formulas of the impulse?
That's why C was the right answer. Another question. The second formula of the impulse, when the force is given to you, a force is applied on the object and it changes the speed of the object for certain time interval like 3 seconds or 5 seconds and they ask calculate the impulse. So how you calculate the impulse? The force which is applied on the object and the duration for which the force is applied when you multiply them, you will get the impulse or change in momentum. The unit of force is Newton and unit of time is second. So that's why 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15 Newton second. So it depends on the question. Another example, you have an object, 3 kilogram object is there. You applied a force of 4 Newton. to move this object, to change the speed of this object for 5 seconds. So what is the impulse here? So how to know the impulse or how to calculate the impulse when the force and time are given. So impulse is force multiplied by time. Even though the mass is there, but you cannot use this mass because you don't have the speed. If speed was given, you will use the mass to calculate the initial and final momentum and take the difference. So what will be the impulse here? The force is 4 and the time is 5. So 4 multiplied by 5, that's equal to 20 Newton second. And if the speeds are given, then you will find the initial momentum, you will find the final momentum and take the difference to calculate the change in momentum. And in this formula, as we know that impulse, the second formula of impulse is equals to force multiplied by time. So if I need the force, So time is multiplied here with force, other side it will divide. So it will be impulse divided by time that is equals to force. And what is the meaning of impulse? The literal meaning of impulse is impulse means the change in momentum. So instead of impulse, we can also write change in momentum. So we can say change in momentum divided by time that is can be equal to the applied force. Is it clear? It's the same thing, but the same formula, but we can change to get the force. If we need force, force will be impulse divided by time or Impulse is also known as change in momentum. So we can say change in momentum divided by time that is equals to the applied force as well. So in this question, a constant force act on a body causing the momentum of the body to increase. Which expression, which expression relate the force to momentum and time? Which one is the right answer for force? So how we can work out the correct answer? Yeah, that's right. A is the right and correct answer because we know impulse. is equals to force multiplied by time. 
but they're not asking about impulse they mention which formula relate force with momentum so impulse in terms of momentum impulse is known as the change in the momentum so change in momentum is equals to force multiplied by time and time is multiplied the other side it will divide so what we can say we can say that the change in the momentum divided by time is equals to the applied force that's why A is the right answer for this one. In this question, they're asking an object of mass 0 0.2 kilogram move at a speed of 0 0.2 as shown. Which object has a momentum that is identical? First thing, this object is having a resultant momentum towards right. So identical object should also move towards right. Which object is moving towards right? It cannot be A. Why it cannot be A? Because A is moving upward. It cannot be B. Why it cannot be B? Because B is moving downward. It cannot be D because D is moving towards left. So it will be C. And how it will be C? Because 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.1 that is equals to 0 0.04 kilogram meter per second and that is towards right hand side and this object was also having a momentum of 0 0.04 kilogram meter per second is it clear this example why c is the right answer for this because momentum is a vector quantity for identical momentum the object should move in the same direction and the value should be same so B, C and D are totally wrong because they are moving in different direction compared to the question. So this is about topic momentum and impulse. In the next session, we will do more questions related to momentum. Any question related to the class today? Any doubt or a question? Uh, so I'll share another link. This is not the last part. I'll share another link, attend a short session to discuss past paper questions. So there will be another session after this. And it's only of 10 minutes to discuss the past paper questions.